Hey everybody, welcome to the Tool for Forza YouTube channel. Captain Nasty is right here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to get a really nice graphic equalizer for Windows 10. It really improved the audio quality on my HP Reverb uh, VR headset. Uh, I think this would be useful for anyone that uses Windows uh, on any device. It's really nice just to be able to, you know, fine-tune your equalizer. That way you can increase, you know, bass if you want to, mid-range treble independently. It's a super cool program. It's free. It took just a few minutes to configure, and uh, I'm really hyped about it. Uh, I was cruising around and uh, listening to music real loud in the headset, and I was just like, man, I need a little bit more bass and one of the guys in tool for force is like hey go get this you know uh equalizer APO program. It takes like five minutes and it, it just works. And I was like, no way. It's, seriously, it, it was it was just that easy. So we're going to go ahead and jump into that in just a second here. Uh, one quick note about the channel. I'm working on a ton of different stuff right now. I'm reviewing like seven different products <laughs> right now. I'm testing stuff. So I'm, I'm testing out three different pairs of sim racing shoes. I'm testing out the Fnatic Z-Ring Flex Reducer for the direct drive wheels, which so far has been a huge improvement. Uh, more to come on that in another video. And then lastly, I bought a whole bunch of different um, wheels off of like Amazon and really affordable wheel rims that, that go on the uh, Fanatic Hub. So if you want to see reviews for all those products in the future, make sure to give us a like and a subscribe. And if you like to shred and if you're a, a sim racer on Assetto Corsa, uh, come and join us in our Discord channel. Uh, we also fly a lot of IL2 Sturmervix. Now that all that garbage is out of the way, let's go ahead and dive right into the video. So first of all, the link to download Equalizer APO is right in the description here. Once you've got that downloaded and installed, uh, there's nothing fancy at all there. It's very straightforward. You just have to select the audio device that you want to apply the equalizer profile to uh, when, when you install it. Then you go over here, just like you're going to open any program, and you'll see equalizer APO 1.1.2. At least that's the version uh, that's out currently as of uh, January 25th, 2020. You're going to want to hit configuration editor, and what you're going to see is this right here. So this is where you actually adjust what frequencies you want to boost or maybe reduce. And what I've done here is I left the very bottom end, the super low frequencies. I actually took a little bit out of the very bottom end because I want to be able to achieve a high volume uh, without having, you know, distorting. And the very low frequency stuff is, is typically the hardest for, for, you know, audio devices to cope with. So what I've done here is I start boosting bass signal at 63 hertz. Uh, it's plus 4 dB. By 100, it jumps all the way up to plus 13, and then it kind of tapers all the way back down to zero at, at 1,000. So what this does, it literally just gives you more bass. It just makes your headphones, your audio system, it just makes it sound more rich. And um, th this is basically like like it. You know, There's no equalizer available in Windows 10. I don't know why. Maybe it's just my onboard sound card on my MSI motherboard. I don't know, but it's totally ridiculous that there's not an equalizer in Windows 10. That, that's a huge error. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get that at all. Um, but luckily, this program is free. It just takes a few minutes to set up, uh, and this is essentially it. So one quick note on how I actually tune this. So what I like to do is I turn on Spotify, and I've got a few different songs uh, that I like to tune my audio stuff with. I've been into like car audio and stuff since I was like 15, and I'm a lot older than that now, so I've got more than like 20 years' experience uh, messing around with this kind of stuff. Uh, and what I did is I just cranked up Spotify to 100%, and I turned up the volume to 100% you know, in, in Windows, you know, like with the little slider here. And I just, you know, listened to some music with, like, you know, he heavy bass, like a bass test, just to make sure it wasn't going to distort just on bass alone. And then I, I listened to um, a song I really like to tune my uh, my audio stuff with is uh, Smack My Bitch Up uh, by Prodigy. It, it's got a, it's got hard-hitting, uh, like, very low bass, but it also has a, a bass line that's low frequency, and it's kind of got, like, a synth effect to it. And if you can make the two of those things sound very clear and very, you know, different and not muddy, uh, then you know you've got a pretty good low-end tune on your equalizer. But pick whatever you want to tune it. I mean, it's, it's totally subjective, like so many things in the sim world. And uh, that's about it for this video. I hope you found this useful, and we'll see you next time. Captain Nasty's over and out.